Hello, I am Dr. Paresh Doshi. I am Director of Neurosurgery at the Jaslok Hospital and Research Center in Mumbai. Neurosurgery is a rapidly evolving subspeciality in India. Uh, it is increasing day by day. We have around 1800 qualified neurosurgeons practicing in India, catering to the total population of 1.2 billion. Though this seems to be a good number, it is far away from the reality that United States says it. We are 100th percent of number of neurosurgeons that we have as compared to what United States says it. Every year, around 200 to 225 new neurosurgeons are added to this pool by around 80 institutes which give training to neurosurgery in India. India has not been lacking in medical field, as we all know. The amount of neurosurgical development that has occurred in India has been in parallel and in certain areas even better than other countries in the world. The subspecialized areas of neurosurgery like vascular surgeries, interventional radiology, surgeries involving minimal invasive spinal surgeries, etc. have been fairly advanced and in fact certain places are even the training centers for that. Similarly, another subspeciality of neurosurgery called functional neurosurgery was started around 15 to 20 years back at the Jaslok Hospital in Mumbai and now it has gathered a lot of momentum and interest across the country. Functional neurosurgery is a neurosurgical discipline which take, caters to surgical treatment for movement disorders and the most common movement disorders that one knows about is Parkinson disease. Another common movement disorder that we know is tremors. We also cater to epilepsy, spasticity, psychiatric disorders, pain, etc. Functional neurosurgery is the most rapidly advancing branch of neurosurgery. Today the amount of uh, the literature reviews and the literature articles that are published in functional neurosurgery are X number of times more than general neurosurgical articles. The research which is occurring in this field is also tremendous. Newer and newer indications are coming under the treatment. For example, obesity and Alzheimer's are the another two other indications that are around the corner that may be potentially be treated by neurosurgeons. The challenges is in the num uh, terms of infrastructure. Our public hospitals still lack the advanced infrastructure that we require to perform excellent level of care and surgery in India. S apart from few handful of centers like NIMANS or All India Institute of Medical Science or Sri Chitra, very few public hospital setups have all the infrastructure that one requires to perform a safe and an advanced neurosurgical operations. However, most of the public hospitals do have basic level of neurosurgical setups which are good for training and to uh, give experience to the young neurosurgeons. The future is changing rapidly. The technology is getting more and more accessible. Neurosurgery is a lot about technology and individual skills. People have independent skills, but that skill requires support of high-end microscope, navigation systems, stereotactic equipments, intraoperative monitoring, and all these ancillary things differentiate from one neurosurgeon from the other. When you have all these tools of trade available to you, your surgeries become much safer, more effective, and less invasive. I think the things are changing, the technology is more easily available and lot of companies in India are also gearing up to produce this in-house and this, when this becomes more uh, uh, frequent, we should be able to help much more and more, more and more patients.